The following is a short tutorial on how to navigate the content tool within D2L. So as you can see on the nav bar up at the top, the content widget is right here. Now this is a widget where we store modules, lessons, and it links us to most of the content within the course. So you'll see down the left hand side of the page that each of these, they're called modules, and these modules unfold and inside them you'll see that they have the lessons. So each of these unfolds and this is where a lot of the content for the courses will be stored. Another thing to note is that when you go into these you can see and you can scroll and read within here, but I'm going to show you something that's really important. It always works better when you go full screen. So right here up in the cor right hand corner, you're going to see if you click on this, this will make this full screen and easier to read. The reason why it's better to go full screen is because some of the documents within it may not fit perfectly. This gives you a really nice view of how this looks and always look for these drop down arrows because it will show you that there's more information. Anytime you want to get back, you can just go to the top and click exit full screen. Each lesson in the module is designed in a similar way. It's going to start off with a quote at the top, then it might have some context information underneath that, followed by module tasks. And these are tasks that you need to do within the module itself. Um, for instance, this one you're going to click on here and make a flip grid. And the other thing most of them will have is a less discuss. So within the less discuss page, you're going to see that these are the discussion questions. Now what we've done to make it really easy for you to find is if you click on here, it will bring you directly to that discussion that you're going to work on. Now if I go back to that module, you're going to see that I can continue to go through and you can see that they are designed in a very similar way. At certain points, you'll see that at the bottom, there will even be a resource section. A good thing to note is that when you're looking at resources in a course like this, once you open that resource, it's a good idea to click on the bookmark and bookmark it. Not sure if you know this, but if you right click on your bookmark bar, you can actually add a folder. So you might want to have a folder for this course and within this folder for the course, anything you add, so if I click on this, I can actually add it directly to that folder and now the resources that I want to keep track of are all going to be in here so I can go back at any time. The final thing I want to show you is that if you go back to the home page, remember that's by clicking right here on the course code in K-12 to eLearning, you're going to see that they have this content navigator widget. And what this does is kind of gives you an idea of what you've covered and what you haven't covered. And as these modules open up, more will appear. So when you click on the module, you'll see that the lessons will appear. And if you have a check mark, that means you've accessed that. It doesn't mean that it's completed and submitted, but it means that you've been in there and spent time in there. Uh, D2L does a really nice job of tracking uh, not only if people have been there, but actually how long they've spent in there too. Just uh, I think it's important to know um, from a transparency angle, but also from a, if you're ever going to run an e-learning course, these learning management systems are very good at like documenting you know, what your students are doing within the course. So if you wanted to jump into one of these directly from here, all you have to do is click on here and it will bring you right into that part of the content section. So as you go through the course, you're going to see that this content section is a really big part of D2L and a lot of where the learning is going to take place. So it's a good idea to really get savvy with it and understand it. But just to remember a couple things, you can get through content here and it's great to open up full screen when you get into these lessons.